Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing something a little different than what I usually do for making HID lamp videos. But don't worry, I'm still going to be making HID lamp videos as the months pass, or the days pass, I should say. But I'm actually going to be creating a new playlist on my YouTube channel, and it's going to be public so you viewers can watch them if you'd like. So this new playlist is going to be called HID Lamp Comparisons. And I'm going to be, um, this is going to be the first episode, and, um, of course, I'm not going to turn on all of my fixtures. I'm only, I'm only going to turn on fixtures that have the same bulb and somewhat color temperature. So, anyways, this HID lamp comparison video is episode number one. This one here is I'm going to compare all of my 5000K or higher daylight metal halide lamps that I have. So, anyways, let's go ahead and see what lamps are going to be featured for this lamp comparison video. So, the first lamp is my Sun Pulse 100 watt Pulse Start Natural White or 6400K metal halide lamp. But once it's at full brightness, it actually gives off a little bit more of a 5000K daylight color. So that's the first bulb, even though it's over 5000K or daylight. So the second bulb I'm going to be using is my Venture Lighting 250 watt base up burn position Pulse Start 950 natural white metal halide shielded lamp and this is made by Venture Lighting so this is my um, Venture 250 watt um, base up burn position pulse start 950 natural white or 5000 K metal halide lamp this has a color rendering index of 90 and over and a color temperature of 5000 K or daylight so that's the second bulb that's going to be featured and the third bulb is my Venture Lighting 400 watt Probe Start Natural White or 5000K Metal Halide Lamp. I've had this bulb since June of this year. So I've had this bulb, I've, I have had this bulb for nearly five months. So that's quite a while actually. And this bulb here, I've had since May of this year. So I've had this for six months. And this bulb here, I've had for three months. I've had it since August of this year. So I've had it for three months. So these are all of the daylight white metal halo lamps that I'm going to be comparing for this first episode and then there's going to be another episode coming out later today so anyways I'm going to go ahead and move back and watch you and I'm going to I'm going to watch all of these HA lamp fixtures and of course only three of them are going to be switched on so it won't trip any amp breakers or anything so we don't have to worry about that so anyways let's get the camera to focus there we finally go. Now, enough of me talking, let's go ahead and switch on all of these daylight metal halide lamps and see if they're actually pure daylight. So anyways, enough of me talking like I just said, let's go ahead and switch on all of my daylight metal halide lamps. Here we go. So these two metal halide fixtures on the top shelf were at full brightness. The one on the third shelf, my Venture 400 watt 5000K metal halide lamp still needs time to warm up since it's probe start. Pulse start metal halide bulbs actually warm up faster than with standard metal halide probe start lamps. And I also forgot to mention that 
I'm going to put all the types of bulbs in the description below to see what bulbs are going to be featured for this comparison video. So sorry if I didn't say that in the beginning. So all three lamps are at full brightness now, so I'm going to go ahead and move up close. You can see my 6400K metal halide lamp is actually giving off a little bit of actual daylight white, like natural 5000K metal halide. And my Venture 5000K metal halide lamp here is at full brightness. You can see that nice looking flimsy constructed, constructed arc tube and that UV shield. I like how it glows, which is really cool. So that's the second bulb, and then of course here's my 400 watt natural white or 5000K metal halide lamp. You can see this one's at full brightness now. So, yeah, these are all of my daylight metal halide lamps. As you can see, this one's a little higher in daylight, and these ones a little bit lower in daylight. So this one's like 5500K. Well, these are actually 5000K, so. So there's my HID lamp comparison, first episode. So anyways, there's going to be a second episode released later today. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this first episode of my HID lamp comparison video. So, and as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.